Hello and welcome to another Beauty Box unboxing. And I'm very excited because it's a Christmas edit. It's a cult beauty Christmas edit. So they've got various ones on their site at the moment. They've got a grooming one which is £30 and it's worth over £165. They've got a skincare one, £35 worth over £155. Hair care, £40, worth over £180. And there's a couple that are coming soon, a fragrance one, which is £70, worth over £180. And a luxury one, which is £85 and worth, I think, over £560. I'm so sure I read that. I chose the makeup one because makeup is my favourite thing in the world. And this is what the box looks like. So it costs £50 and it's worth over £125. There is free standard delivery on anything from Cult Beauty that's over £25. So it comes with a sleeve on it and then there's a rather lovely box underneath which is very sturdy. One of the sturdy Cult Beauty ones. Nice colour, nice Christmassy colour. So I have unboxed it though. Inside there was a little booklet. Now I think it's got information on other things you can buy on their site which is far too tempting for my liking but there are I think other articles in there I haven't had the chance to have a proper look yet though. So as far as the items in the box there I've taken most of the description from the Cult Beauty website and maybe from the brand's website where I can. I've also tried to price up the individual items although I might be a little bit off so don't blame me if I am but I've done my best there. So let's have a little look and see what is in there. So the first item is by Urban Decay and it's their full size eyeshadow primer potion 10ml original. This is available on the brand's website for £19.50 and they say create endless looks that last with our not so secret weapon eyeshadow primer potion. This creamy eye primer keeps your eyeshadow crease free your colour vibrant and your application smooth. Formulated with polymer technology, this vegan formula beauty essential serves as the perfect foundation for your eyeshadow and eyeliner, filling in any surface imperfections and prepping lids for all day wear. So let's have a little look at it. Now it is a rather lovely packaging for it. Beautiful purpley colour. And then look at the little cap on the top almost diamondy I really like that um, so I have tried eyeshadow primers in the past and not got on that great with them to be honest I found them some of them a little bit sticky or they feel too heavy I feel like I've got too much on my eyelid I don't like it so I've always tended to use just a sort of a neutrally eyeshadow as my base for any other products but I had a go with this and you know what I quite liked it now I think it does come in an, a few shades, I'm not 100% sure, but looking at the website I think that's what they said. Um, so I've got one that is quite a sort of a nudie light colour. I'll show you what it looks like on the back of my hand. So it is almost like a foundation, isn't it? So the way I put it on was I used the applicator that came with it to put it onto my eye and then I sort of blended it out a bit with my finger. I think you can use a brush as well but I did it with my finger because I wasn't entirely sure what I was doing to be honest with you. But it seemed to work okay and then I waited for it to dry before applying any of the shadows and everything went on really well on top. So yeah, I think it's done a really nice job for me. It's a good colour for me. Um, yeah, and it was a great base for the next product, which was the one that I really wanted this box for. So that is by Vive, and it is the Essential Eyeshadow Palette. So this has an RRP of £45. And the brand says, with seven long-lasting modern mattes and three multi-dimensional shimmers, the eyeshadow palette is a new take on neutrals. Each shade is richly pigmented, effortlessly blendable, creamy and easily buildable, whether worn alone, layered together or blended to customise your own shade, create endless combinations from an intense smoky eye to a soft nude look. And there was a top tip, I think that was on Court Beauty, which said wet your brush before application to intensify the multidimensional shades and make your shimmer pop. So 
first of all this is lovely lovely packaging it comes in this kind of outer cardboard case and then inside it kind of reminds me of a, a leather bound diary um that's the look it seems to be going for there's a little there's a little shiny bit there although it's got a bit of plastic on that needs to come off i'll show you the inside there is a mirror with it so i will just block that off first and there is like a little plastic um cover on the top just to protect everything so here are the colors so as you can see they're, they're kind of neutrally but kind of interesting very autumnal i think they do remind me of sort of leaves on the trees at the moment so it's very seasonal i think so i have used it today i started with all over the eye this sort of um neutral very neutral pale color then i went for a shimmer a light shimmer coming out then a slightly darker shimmer around about here and then i did sort of lines of that one that one and that one going out so i'll show you on my arm what how i did it now i did try these ones on my arm these three there and that shimmer one they were all a little bit dark and not very exciting for me i prefer to have things a little bit lighter on my eyelids to brighten them up if, if the colors are too dark i think i just look i just don't like the look okay i'll show you what it looks like on my arm with those colors that i used so let's get ready the first one so that went over the whole of the eyelid the next one was a shimmer and that kind of went next sort of the beginning the beginning yes uh, i don't know how to describe this sorry i don't know what i'm talking about the next one was that one it was a shimmer that one sort of went in the middle i did that one with my fingertip because you know the shimmers sometimes you have to do them with your fingertips then we went for the sort of yellowy orangey one then the one that was more reddy orange and finally one that i didn't think would be as dark as this but it did turn out to be quite dark i felt so that was how they went on my eye I'm going to come in a bit nearer to see if you can see now it was a couple of hours ago i put put it on so i'm not sure it's as great as it was then but not that i'm saying it was great but you know it did look quite nice so let me come in a bit nearer and if i shut my eyes i've no idea what you can see but hopefully you get the kind of idea and it was very easy to blend in i did use a brush to do it but it was it was really really nice i don't know what that is on there that's probably me what i do when i'm trying new colors is i always put them on my arm first anyway to see what they're going to look like next to one another because that's how i tend to put them on then i'll put a line like that and then blend them together and it really worked well i think with this palette so very very happy with that now let me just tidy myself up a little bit and get on with the next one <clears throat> right the next item what is the laura mercier full size it's a full size it's a cap i'm just it's, everything's got a little bit um of makeup on it now so i'm just sort of polishing it off as i show you it is a caviar stick eye colour in strike a rose so this is 26 pounds on the court beauty website and they say strike a rose with this fuss free eye essential this pretty in pink eyeshadow is effortlessly easy to use combining seamless application with impressive staying power and high impact colour payoff it's ideal for lazy days on the go touch-ups and beginners alike you'll wonder how you ever went without it and they suggest applying it directly to the lash line for a smoky liner effect or all over the eyelid for higher impact and you can blend it with a brush or fingertips so i have never had a full size one of these i've had a few of the smaller sort of travel size ones in boxes but never one like this and it's rather lovely in the full size version i'm very impressed with it all nice and shiny and lovely now i wasn't 100 percent sure of the color i thought it might be a little bit dark but it was really good and you know what it really really complements the palette so i'll put it next to the um 
the eyeshadow so you can see it is sort of that still that autumnal kind of feel to it and I have got it on now I don't know whether you'll see it very well but I'll come in close I'll explain where I put it so what I did was before I put my eyeliner on I put it here about here on the lash line but came up quite far um so when the eyeliner went on it did cover it up slightly but there is still some left and that's what I tend to do every time I do um any eyeshadow is I put either either like a little pinky one or a red one just like that then put the eyeliner over it so it just comes just above it just gives a little bit of extra interest I think that's barely noticeable I know it's there but probably no one else can see it but for me I really like it so I'll come in and just see if you can see it's right down I bet you can't but I know it's there and I love that because that is perfect colour for me to do that. It's the sort of colour I use all the time. So very, very happy with that. It went on beautifully. It blended beautifully. I did use a brush to blend it. Went great with those other colours. Very, very happy with that. I think as a combination, those first three items, the primer, the palette and that are great together. Very, very happy. Okay, the next item is by, now where's that gone? Here it is, it's hiding, they're all hiding from me today. This is by Nude Stick, Sticks, Nude Sticks. And it's a full size splash proof mascara in black. This is 12 mils and it's worth 20 pounds. And Court Beauty says, Get ready to introduce your eyes to this waterproof and sweatproof high performance mascara infused with multivitamins and plant based oils to moisturise, strengthen and protect lashes. Brimming with argan oil, mango seed oil and panthenol, this vegan splash proof mascara from Nude Sticks nourishes lashes as it enhances. For lustrous lashes that don't flake, clump or look unnaturally rigid, the lash lengthening mascara cloaks each lash with a rich and creamy formula that lengthens and volumizes. Now, I wasn't sure when I saw this. Do you know what? I wasn't, I, I, it's terrible really, but the packaging, I just didn't, it didn't grab me. But the product itself is really nice. So I'll show you what the brush looks like. Um, it's quite a long one and then it's got one of those little bobbly ends at the top. Slightly bent I think towards one side which actually I found quite useful if I hold that straight you might see so as you can see against my lashes I like it now the first coat was great it was one of those I thought oh yes because it's very individual on the lashes now I have got two coats on because it's I'm filming this at night time so now the winter's getting on I tend to do two coats on a night time when I'm putting makeup on because just to sort of make my eyes look well you can see it better in the electric light so it's got two coats on I think it's done really well if you can see it I'll go to the side it feels like it has made them look longer and fuller and it does seem to coat each lash which is something I really like in a mascara and it grabbed on really nicely I really really like that mascara actually so very pleased with that one the packaging doesn't really matter does it because the product's pretty good okay the next item now this one is interesting I have had it before but not like this i'll show you what i mean so this is the benefit travel size 24 hour brow setter clear brow gel it's 3.5 mils it's 13 pounds on the court beauty website and they say benefits 24 hour brow setter is the ultimate way to regain control of unruly brows and ensure that they don't pull a disappearing act providing up to 24 hours of impressively strong yet surprisingly flexible and flake free hold this invisible finish brow gel can be worn alone or used to set other brow products in place the custom molded dual sided wand coats hairs from root to tip use the longer bristles to coat the hairs evenly and the short bristled side to sculpt and shape the hairs into place quick drying yet super long lasting just a few sweeps and you're ready to hit the town or the office for hours of arch perfection Court Beauty always do amazing descriptions of products. I love their descriptions more than anyone else's. Okay, 
I'll show you what it looks like. Now, I think I have had it before, but I've never had it in such shiny packaging, which I rather like. I'm terrible, aren't I, for the packaging? But look how lovely that is. This is so pretty. Um, so I have used it today. What I did with this was I, I have used a brow product underneath because I do have quite pale brown brows. I mean, I'm not great with brows. I never have been. I sort of pluck my brows myself. They're, they're never even. They never look perfect. But I do as good a job as I can. Um, but underneath, so I have got like a crayon brow product on today. And then I put this on top. And this, I did quite like this. I'm sure, I'm not sure I have had this before, you know, like this, because I just can't remember the brush being like this. But that's what it looks like. So I don't know whether you can see there is a longer bristle side and a shorter bristle side. Hopefully you can see that. Um, and I started off doing it like this, but that was getting in the way. So I realised it was easier to do it from above and that worked fine for me. So when I was doing it like this way, that was bothering, it was getting in my eye line and just annoying me, to be honest, that's all. Um, so I did it from, from above and that was much better. And yet it seems to be doing a decent job. I can feel it, but it's not like one of those that feels really gluey and a bit too firm. So yeah, nice product. I'll probably... Thing is, I do have a special product that I love the most, and it's by Rimmel, and it's their um, it's a tinted brow gel that I always go to. But I do when I do use crayons, I do use like a clear one over the top. So I'll try and use that one a little bit more often. Okay, the next item is this is the last item, and this is one of my favourites. It's only a tiny thing, but I love 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 this. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Deluxe Matte Revolution Lipstick in Pillow Talk. It's 1.1 grams. Now, a full size of this is £26, and I think this would be worth around £9, but that's a bit of a guess. It's kind of based on some pricing information I found out on the brand's website when they sort of did how much each 10 gram would cost, and then I worked it out from there. So whether I got it right, I don't know. So I'd say nine or ten pounds, something like that. And it's just a little ditty version of their lipstick. <clears throat> and Court Beauty says this luscious matte lipstick not only imparts bold, kiss-proof colour, but also hydrates and protects lips with a delicate blend of oils and waxes, together with lipstick tree and orchid extracts, rich in light diffusing pigments to create the illusion of enhanced lip fullness. The pigment payoff is second to none. Velvety textured but non-drying, this keeps lips soft and nourished while creating an arresting makeup look. And to ensure application is effortless, there's an innovative squared off angle tip which mirrors the precision of a lip brush for the most perfectly defined lip line and cupid's bow. And I did look up on the brand's website about the lipstick tree because I thought, what's that? I can't remember reading that about it before, I might have done. But it says it's a small tree originating in the Americas, more commonly known as the Achiote tree. This plant has many uses, historically being used in culinary dishes as a food colouring. It also, it's also used in lipstick, which is how it came to get its name. The lipstick tree has bright red seeds, which have been used for years as a body paint, which make it the perfect ingredient to help colour lipstick. So there you go. Just in case you wanted to know that fact, which you probably didn't, but you know, I thought it was interesting. So this is what it looks like. It's lovely. Such a gorgeous, nudie, nudie colour. It's the one I wear all the time. I'm wearing it now. I adore that. Now, I recently was lucky enough to get the big size in a box. And so here's the big size. And I've already got a diddy size, but that the diddy size that I had before is nearly run out. And what I do is I'm going to keep this one up here, ready to put on before I do my videos. And the bigger one will go in my handbag. So that's great for me. So... That's the box. Now it's £50. I personally think it's worth it. The eye palette itself is £45. So everything else, you know, is great. Now also if you get cult um, points, I can't think what they're called, but I used some of my cult points to pay for it as well, which is always useful, isn't it? Um, 
but I think it's a great box if you like makeup it's going to be perfect and if you know someone who likes makeup and you want to spend a decent amount of money on them for Christmas then I think this box is going to be fabulous so we started off with the eyeshadow primer which you know I'm not really normally a fan of these but that was great and my it just I can't feel it on my eyes whereas normally I would do or the ones I've used in the past I would do then the palette which I think for this time of year is beautiful particularly for autumn if you're buying for a Christmas present it will still be fine for that time of year too but look at those autumnal colours are amazing and do you know what I really like I'm probably going, you're going to see me with these colours on a little bit more often this sort of next couple of months I reckon I'll be using that um then we had the, I'm going to get confused now, we had the Laura Mercier full size crayon which is a really, really lovely colour too. I really like that, I'm very happy with that. Um, then we had the mascara. Yeah, the packaging mm, not really grabs me but the mascara itself is very nice and easy to use and I like the brush. The brow gel was, for, I'm going to try and use that a little bit more often I think because that was really nice to use actually. And then of course my beautiful Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, wouldn't be without that, so very very happy with that. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing, I have finally got some boxes starting to come through at last, so my OK box has arrived which I will be trying out the products in the next couple of days and bringing that to you soon. And then I know there's another couple on the way, so thankfully um, I will have some more to show you soon. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you are absolutely fantastically happy, whatever you are doing and wherever you are, and I hope to see you again soon. Take lots of care. Bye-bye.